What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to convert decimals to proper and improper fractions, all right? And this is actually pretty easy, okay? And I'm gonna do some positive and negative examples. So let's start with this first one here in the top left. So 1.6, how would you turn this into a fraction or improper fraction? Well, the only thing you have to figure out is what decimal place does this number end in? So this six right here, what decimal place is this in? Well, this is the tenths place, right? So I'm just gonna draw a line under my whole number and it's in the tenths place, right? So I'm just gonna put a 10. Okay, so here's my fraction, right? So I'm just gonna rewrite it, but without the decimal, right? So I'm gonna take out the decimal. So on top, I'm gonna have one six, or in other words, 16, and on the bottom, I'm gonna have 10, okay? So 1.6, as a fraction would be 16 over 10, all right? And you could reduce this more, but I'm just gonna be converting these straight across, okay? So let's try another one. So here we have 0 0.9. So again, all you have to do is figure out which decimal place value does this end in? Well, this ends in the tenths place, right? So I'm gonna draw a line under my whole number, and then again, it ends in the tenths place. So I'm just gonna write a 10 in the denominator, okay? So here's my fraction, right? So if I wanted to write it out here, again, I'm just gonna drop the decimal, so I'm just gonna have nine over 10. So 0 0.9 as a fraction would be nine over 10. Okay, now this next example, you can see it has a negative number, right? But nothing changes, all right? It's still the same process. So we're just gonna put a line under the whole thing, and then we're gonna to check to see what is the last decimal place, okay? So it ends right here in the tenths place, so I'm just gonna put this whole thing over a 10. Okay, so my answer would be, remember, just drop the decimal up here, and then write your whole number. So we're gonna have negative 87 over 10. Okay, so this would be your answer right there. Okay, let's go to the next example. So here we have 0 0.03. So just draw a line underneath the whole thing, and then what place value does it end in? Well, let's see, this is the tenths, this is the hundredths. So it ends in the hundredths, so I'm gonna put 100 in my denominator, okay? So I'm gonna rewrite my answer, and again, all I have to do is drop the decimal. So up here I'm gonna have 0, 0, 003, or in other words, just three, right? And then in the denominator, 100. Okay, so 0 0.03 as a fraction would simply be three over 100. Okay, next example. Again, we have a negative number right here, right? So negative 0.59. So all I'm gonna do is draw a line underneath my whole number, and then what place value does it end in? Well, let's see, this is the tenths, this is the hundredths, and that's where it ends, right? So it ends in the hundredths. So that's what goes in my denominator. And then my answer would be, again, just dropping the decimal, negative 0, 0.59, but I'm just gonna drop the zero because it doesn't add anything. So it's just actually gonna be negative 59 over 100, okay? So this would be your answer. Okay, now we just have a few more examples. So I'm just gonna move over to the side a little bit here. Okay, so now up here on the right, we have 0 0.004. So again, I'm just gonna draw a line underneath my whole number. And what place value does this end in? Well, let's see, tenths, hundredths, thousands. So this ends in the thousandths place. So I'll put a thousand on the bottom, All right? And then just rewriting my answer. Remember, drop any of these leading zeros and this decimal point right there. So we're just gonna have four on top and a thousand on the bottom. So your answer here would be four over 1,000. Okay, and lastly, here we have negative 5.626. So draw a line underneath the whole thing. It ends in the thousands place. So we'll put a thousand in the denominator. And then this is gonna be equal to, dropping the decimal, negative 5626 over 1,000. Okay, so negative 5,626 over 1,000. That's your answer right there. All right, guys, so that's a quick and easy way to convert decimals to proper and improper fractions, right? So I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. 
And if you still have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's also a playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check those out and I'll see you there.